What's up guys, welcome back. Merry Christmas, look, look, check this out. It is 46 degrees where I'm at right now, guys. That is unheard of, but I'm here for it. It feels lovely outside. So if you guys are unaware, we may or may not have grenaded Miss Parker's transmission on our last outing. We did, we did. We, we, we damaged it pretty bad. I'm not really mad about it. We're making some pretty decent power with Miss Parker's new engine setup, and it was only a matter of time, you know? T5s aren't really known for being the strongest transmission in the game and initially you know in my mind i wanted to put a t56 magnum in the car and that's just what i've had in my thought process ever since we bought the car like when i upgrade the transmission we're going to throw a t56 magnum in the car but up until recently you know like i said i've just been doing a bunch of reading and research and a lot of you guys have mentioned this new tremec tkx transmission so i started looking into that which was new to me because i haven't really been doing research on transmissions i didn't really have a need to up until just recently so i started doing some reading on the new tkx and honestly guys i really really like it so i'm thinking now i want to go with a tkx a tremec tkx for miss parker i just feel like it would fit the build perfectly because realistically you know i'm building a street slash strip quarter mile car i don't really need the sixth gear I may be wrong, but I feel like a T56 might be a little bit heavier than a TKX. Drop a comment down below if you know, but I just feel like it's a it's a little bit more of a hefty unit, if you know what I'm saying. Also, the TKX holds up to, it says, 600 foot-pounds of torque in a 3,200-pound car. And Miss Parker is 2,600 pounds with room to go, you know, even lighter in the future. So I feel like it would be a solid transmission for our setup and what we're trying to do. Problem is the transmission is still like 27, 2800 bucks plus a bell housing, which I wanna get a SFI bell housing, it's like another thousand dollars. You know, we're still looking at like $5,000 to replace the transmission or completely upgrade the transmission on Miss Parker to the transmission, you know, that I would really like to run. And I just don't have it guys. The finances are not there just yet. I'm trying to save up for it, you know, and work towards that. But uh, as of right now, you know, I don't have five grand to go and order a new transmission set up for miss parker i don't know what's going to happen as of right now i'm going to continue looking for a t5 or if any of you guys have a t5 that you would like to sell me for the low or you want to just let me borrow it i'm not going to be racing the car on the t5 because obviously i know the t5 can't handle it so if you guys want to let me borrow a t5 transmission that'd be sick so we can get miss parker back on the road and shoot some more content with her while we're saving up for the new tremec tkx so with all that being said even though we can't replace the transmission on the car just yet we can pull the T5 out of the car and see exactly how bad we damaged it. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna pull the T5 out of Miss Parker, see exactly how bad we hurt her, and just get her all nice and prepped so that way when we do source a new transmission, she'll be ready to go. We could just get it all slapped back together. Of course, we broke Miss Parker right before boost weather. First cold day of the year, and you know, and now Miss Parker's down, but that's all right. We'll get her back up and running, boys. Before we get the car jacked up in the air, I wanna move the Shifter get that all out of there. So we have you know as much room as possible. Then we'll jack the car up Get underneath it and get amongst it I feel like this is the time of year I can most relate to all of my subscribers who live up north because I tell you what man I hand it to you guys when you're working on the smallest little things in the cold weather your fingers just They just don't work the same guys. They kind of just you know, and they're all numb, just like big hot dogs, just useless hot dogs attached to your hand. Yeah. Get the Pro 5 shifter out of here. I wonder if I could reuse this if I do end up getting a Tremec TKX or if I have to get a new shifter. If you guys know, drop a comment down below because that'd be sick if I could just reuse my shifter. We still had some fluid in there. That's surprising, I thought we lost all the fluid. Maybe we didn't damage this thing as bad as uh, I thought. I don't know, we'll see here shortly. Got the four bolts from the drive shaft removed, so now we should be able to drop this guy out. Hold on guys, I'm working with a limited amount of space in here and slide her out of the trans, nice and easy. Just like that. Ugh. All right, cool. There you have it. 
that's my shaft boys <laughs> it's a pretty nice shaft if I do say so myself I'm dumping the gear oil out and look at all those flakes of metal guys that is not a good sign at all making some pretty good progress I just got the clutch cable and the reverse light harness disattached from the transmission so now all we have to do is loosen up the hardware on the transmission cross member and then we can remove the four bolts that hold the transmission to the bell housing Weather's so nice, even my pops decided to take the Corvette out for a cruise. That's rad. All right, let's get to these last four bolts and get the T5 pulled out. Got the four bolts loose, finally. Took a little while to get the top two loose just because it's very difficult. It's not difficult to get the wrench in there. Once you get a wrench or a ratchet in there, hold on, let me get this out and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. Right, so here's where the bolt hole is. Once you get a wrench or a ratchet in there because of this little fin on the uh, transmission, it kind of like hits the body of the ratchet or the wrench or whatever you're using and you don't have much room or any room at all to turn to the left or the right. So it becomes very difficult to try to break the bolt loose, but I ended up getting it out. That's one. I already got the other one loose. These two bottom ones are loose. So we just got to get them all out and then we should be able to pull the T5 away from the bell housing. I think that was everything. I think we are now free to pull the T5 away from the bell housing. I think this is my first time ever dropping the trans in the Fox body, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're good to go. We just have to knock the two bolts out of the transmission cross member, drop the cross member, and then we should be able to slide the T5 back and out in theory. Let's see what happens. How light is a T5 transmission? Ugh. T5 has officially been removed from the car and from the outside. You know, first appearance it doesn't look too bad, besides, it's covered in gear oil you know but i have a feeling that the inside is going to look a little bit different but before we dive into that let's go ahead and continue working get the bell housing and clutch and all that removed as well right now i'm working on pulling the starter as we separate that from the bell housing we can work on honestly i'll probably just end up replacing this thing all together as well because it's disgusting it's literally Look at my fingers just from taking that bolt out. There we go. Be nice to me. Yes. Just like that. Oh, this thing is disgusting, bro. Super nasty. This is super nasty.
Okay. Yeah, I'm good. The chain light though. There you go, boys. Transmission is completely removed from the car. Pretty dirty back here. I'm obviously gonna have to clean all that up before we put the new trans or whatever trans we put back in the car back in the car. But real quick, let's take a second to appreciate how pretty the AFR heads look from the back. Hey, that shit clean, boy. There you have it. Miss Parker's transmission all blown apart. There ain't no pieces missing, boys. So, I don't know where the fluid was coming from. Not really sure, we're gonna have to dive deeper into the actual T5 transmission. But right now I'm just gonna clean up, because we made quite a mess. I gotta get everything back inside because it's now starting to rain. Not only is it cold out here in Florida, but it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna clean up our mess. Once we get everything inside, we'll dive a little bit deeper into the T5 and see if we can figure out what exactly went wrong. It is freaking freezing out here, but I got everything back inside the garage. So now we're going to begin to dive a little bit deeper into the T5 and see if we can't figure out what let loose. Pull this whole tail housing off just like that. Trigger discipline, boys. It's important. got it pretty well blown apart here I wanted to pull fifth gear off because initially I thought that I had to pull fifth gear off to get the rest of the gear set out but that wasn't the case I was able to finesse the rest of the gear set out for whatever reason on every video I've watched online and before I get into any of this just to clarify I am not a t5 rebuild specialist or transmission specialist or anything like that of any sort I'm just simply showing you guys you know what I'm going through I'm not trying to give any information here because this is my first time opening up a t5 transmission ever so you know I'm no expert I'm not claiming to be an expert I don't know what half of these parts are properly called I'm just learning as I go so you know if I say something incorrectly or you know just my lack of information don't be upset guys this is not a how-to video I'm just filming my journey all right so anyways in every video that I watched online, they simply pry this fifth gear setup off. Problem is, I've noticed that this looks like it's like some sort of rubber bushing on all the videos that I've seen. So when they pry it, it kind of just slips over that 
and allows everything to come apart. But on mine, I don't know if it'll focus. Maybe, maybe not. It's actually metal. So when this slides forward, you see that? It's hitting that. And there's no way that that metal is going to go over the metal. So I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of locking ring or something that I'm missing here. The reason I cannot slide this off because I was not able to pry this off for the life of me. But regardless, like I said, we were able to get the gear set off and check out the carnage, guys. First off, again, I'm no specialist, so I don't know what gear that is. But look at that. Look how many teeth are missing on that. And that's pretty gnarly. So that gear is completely annihilated. Everything else looks pretty decent. You know, all this stuff is good. Fifth gear looks good. It's just this, this gear, whatever gear that is, maybe third gear, I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe that's not even third gear. I think the gears are over here, which is even worse. Look at this guy which I believe is the corresponding gear to that. I might be wrong, like I said, I'm no professional. I gotta do a lot more research as far as like in depth on the actual parts and pieces and gears and all that. But this guy is completely destroyed. Look at that. There's nothing left. Oh, there's three little teeth right there. <laughs> She's got three little teeth on it. We destroyed that, guys. Everything else on here, though, looks to be intact for the most part, you know? Maybe we could take this whole thing apart, clean it all up, replace this gear and this gear, and throw her back in the car and she'll work? I don't know. Again, how much is this gear and this gear going to cost me? Also, look at this. Oh, man. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Ooh, our teeth. I'm going to put these under my pillow tonight. And chunks. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, dude. That is not good. So, yeah. We definitely did a number on this. So now that we have her all blown apart and we see exactly what we damaged, oh, also on this input shaft, I noticed some of, I think, I, I believe that's a missing chunk, right? Or maybe not, maybe that's supposed to be like that because that's pretty clean shear, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I got to look into it because that's pretty clean. I don't think maybe it broke that clean, but maybe it did. So I got to look into it. If that's normal, then we're good there. I think all this looks okay. It's just those two gears are completely destroyed. So I'm going to look into that. Maybe try to find like a T5 diagram so I can see exactly what everything is. And then uh, order possibly order whatever I see is damaged and we could just replace it and maybe get the T5 back in the car just so we could drive the car while I save up for a TKX. But that's it boys, that's all I got for you today. I got some research to do. I have to figure out exactly what two gears those are and see if I can source them and if it would be cost effective for me to rebuild this transmission you know, on a budget and get it back together so we can slap it back into Miss Parker and get her back on the road as soon as possible You know, while we're saving up for a TKX. But, it's gonna be it, man. I really don't got much more for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was pretty wild. We popped the T5 out of there, broke her down, and saw exactly how badly we damaged her. And we damaged her pretty bad. Also, if you guys know how to take this off, because I'm pretty sure it's just some silly little lock that I'm just not familiar with. But if you guys know how to remove fifth gear here, uh, let me know, because me just trying to pry it off, uh, the way that everyone online showed how to remove it, didn't work for me. So yeah, drop a comment if you know how to pop fifth gear off, but that's it boys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Be easy.